driving today. This is our last group of pigs coming in. Um, that will put us up over 2,000 head. Um, you can see this is a very wintry day here in Minnesota. Uh, temperatures in the single digits. We got wind blowing snow and um, drifts. Um, but you can see the truck that they're coming in on there. It's enclosed and they should all be pretty warm. And they back up to a chute, which is what the truck driver is doing right now. We're just going to kind of walk over there. I'll kind of give you a little bit of a pan here as far as what kind of weather we're looking at today. You can kind of see you really can't see very far with the blowing snow. This is kind of why we have our pigs put in barns in Minnesota. It's just not, not a very nice day out here today. Okay, and so the pigs will be coming out the back of the truck. And we have a loading chute, that's what this is. And they'll go into there and you can kind of see, they'll kind of have a of a downward slope there that they will walk into the barn. Okay, I'm going to shut this off and I'm going to walk in the barn and we'll watch them come out of the truck. I'll be coming. Oh, I see the first one, the first three. Now I'm going to have to move here because they're going to see me and they're going to be a little bit afraid of what I'm doing here. So we'll, we'll get a little bit of video of them coming. Now the noise you hear is what we call rattle paddle. It's just a plastic with beads inside or, and it just makes noise. And this gets them to move. And here they come. Pretty excited. They're about three weeks old. Probably anywhere at 12 to 14 pounds. And I think I'm going to leave because I think they're going to see me and just be a little bit too afraid. There's all sorts of them. And my husband, and what his job is going to be is he needs to count them. So I'm not going to talk too loud here because I'm going to get him all messed up in his county. These are kind of some of the leaders here. They know where they need to go. The rest will follow. came in yesterday and you can see how large their pen is um, but they're all underneath the heat lamps there um, they do that just because they like to be together they really like that closeness and they like to lay next to each other but you can see they have lots and lots of room here and you know as they get bigger they will be moving out from underneath there and this is kind of where they they eat their feeders and their waters are over there and they have to be taught how to eat and drink a little bit and that's why we have to um, check on them and help them multiple times per day just to kind of teach them.